in a moment and talk about this and that till somebody die. Then when somebody dies, like, oh my God, that's fucked up. You killed him. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, y'all been doing all this. I mean, somebody was bound to get hurt. But it had to be the innocent one. Because first of all, if you was my friend, I wouldn't have never went. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. She said, pull up. All right, let me think about this. <laughs> Do I really want to go? This is about the third time we scrapped. Somebody's car got damaged. You know what I'm saying? So first you get in a fight, that's over. Then somebody's car get damaged. Mm, that's an issue. You know that third thing. That third step ain't going to be no motherfucking conversation. We ain't come to talk. Everybody came with guns. They knew what was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to that boy, bro. Rest in peace to him. This is just a lot for me. Oh, well. And he should never jump. That is sick. Are you fucking kidding me? Boy? Mmm. Mm-mm. Nope, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I was set back on my mission I didn't follow intuition Back then I didn't wanna listen But now I'm gunning for redemption I want redemption I want it, I got it, I want it She is not relevant anymore Let that shit go go Isha heard that And then she responds You feel me like So You she got the little video of her, but it seemed like you on live saying it ain't no beef. I ain't worried about the girl. We doing our own thing, but you got it on your spam. Like, and my mama said what she said, like, you supposed to be popping your shit. Don't get it twisted, bitch, because you know how I'm coming. Don't get it twisted. You get hyped when you got your little folks behind you, bitch. I, don't, I step on my own, bitch. I'm sitting right here on my, by myself. I do this on my own. If my sisters need to get involved, they get involved. That, this is just that. But baby... Don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't sit and say, like, and she said what she, and she said what she said, like, and I'm saying what I'm saying. If y'all not having no real pressure for real, stop coming to me about this girl. I don't give a about her, her mama, sister, daddy, uncle, cousin, baby, sister. I don't give a, I do not give a, like, she's old news to me. That was, I think, a month before. Yeah, she talking to the, she talking to the live. I get that. A lot of the times. It'd be other people amping shit up. You know what I'm saying? They they just like to start shit. <laughs> Go through it all the time. People just love to start shit. This shit just is sad, bro. I have shit on another timeline, but it's almost a month before she's already come here to Atlanta. But I'm going to leave it at this. And I'm about to get off. I'll be at ATL June 8th. I got a whole event out there. If it's pressure, pop out. It's nothing. Then she was also on the stage saying, I even pay their way to get in. How are people booking day. him? So, like, you're I don't get that. It. Knowing you done already got beat up twice by this girl. Right. You got beat up twice by Isha. So, why do you keep provoking this girl knowing that she's going to respond? And that's basically what it is. She knows Isha's going to respond. So, she's provoking Isha, knowing she ain't going to fight, knowing she can't beat up Isha. So, now I don't even know why Isha mad because Isha already know she can beat up Naima. So, at this point, y'all are dragging the whole issue. You're dragging it. You're dragging it. So anyway, Naima gets here, and she already knows you should go push up. You should say she's going to push up, and you invited her to push up. She's going to come. So Naima goes to the Henny house, and she has an interview. We here with Naima, PYT. We out here with her whole gang. Y'all popped out deep for the show tonight. The show is at 8.30 for everybody that doesn't know. That's in the ATL area. Come out to the show tonight. Now, in this internet, if y'all heard in that interview, they said some things. Them Instagrammers don't come out the house because they be whack in real life, man. I'm 20 years old. I'm grown as hell. I'm not uh -huh. no little ass kid beat this beat that y'all keep bringing back. That's up. right. It happened so long ago. Y'all bitches is pressed. So if you gonna follow me, follow that. Don't follow me at all. And that's all I gotta say. She get a relevancy from being herself. Won't we'll have to talk about other people. They gonna shoot a night now here. Hey man. I get, I get death row vibes right now. <laughs> hey, welcome to my fucking death row, nigga. 2.0. If I can't, oh, that I must can't be her friend. In the crowd, I don't give a fuck. 
I don't know <laughs> what the fuck that was about. Why does it have to be that serious? Yeah. Why we killing? Why we, why we gotta put somebody in the ground? If I can't, if I can't put nobody in the ground, I don't give a fuck. You always gonna see her with the gang. You ain't gonna never ever see her by herself ever ever again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if it's up there stuck there, I got shooters everywhere. You did. And a lot of these niggas' birth certificates say New York. We just live in the states that we said. So we uh, today is the day. Like, if you want to go there, we go there. Oh, all the bullshit. I'm out on parole in two different states. You heard me. Yeah. Hey, look, my... Uh, yeah, <laughs> Swelly TV, bitch, in my name, bring the whole city out. Look. Yeah, if it's up there, stuck there, we in your city with the big sticks. You heard, y'all want to get stuffed on today. Let's get it. So that ain't brand <laughs> The fucking interviewer is like... The fuck did I just do? Yeah, nigga. Her tour date, the party here. So I have to insert this clip here because I had left something out. So what they said was, before they even got to the party, Naima tried to apologize to Isha before the party started and Isha didn't want to hear it. She screenshotted it, she put it up on the page and showed everybody that Naima was trying to apologize. No, Naima be doing shit so wrong, man. Like, the thing is, you cannot be... First of all, when people ask shit on your live that you don't want them to ask, nigga, ignore it. And if they keep doing it, nigga, block them. I do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? And if I do answer it, I'm not going to go for that person, though. I'll just speak on what I'm going to speak on, and I'm leaving it at that. But see, they get on live and get just the straight popping shit. So now she get to the city and want to apologize. You <sighs> so... At this point, this it, a lot. it's just a whole bunch of whatever. Because if she tried to apologize, then now why are you texting her behind the scenes saying, let's fight? It's just a mess. Each of them pull up. Yeah, 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 she was scared as fuck. You cannot keep, you cannot keep coming at somebody and not be about that shit. But if you with niggas that's about that action, I mean, oh, this is a mess. All this shit like this used to go on behind the scenes. Niggas will never know. Like shit will happen. You'd be like, what the fuck happened for that to happen? Now you know exactly what happened. You know exactly what happened when it happened or even before it happened. You know what I'm saying? want to make up no lie i just know they pushed up which they shouldn't have pushed up because you already know you're going there to fight which you should not have went just don't even worry about it she shouldn't have invited them to come because you already know what that's going to do you're provoking them naima said isha crew shot first isha crew said naima's crew shot first at this point i don't know but all i know is an innocent boy who is 18 years old, who has a baby on the way anytime now, mm. who came with not, who came with Isha, has been shot in the back of the head and twice in the chest. I think mm. that's what his girlfriend mm. said mm. Mm. on her Instagram page. Um, and he has lost his life because of some foolishness that y'all could not let go. Stupid. Oh, but nothing. Instagram, they start posting stuff, all his friends, now they scared. These kids are... I see him in the comments. I, mean, uh, I know that's when. Oh, you like a thousand bricks as it should. Nah. Y'all should have knew this before this shit even fucking happened. Like, y'all should have known this was a possibility that this could happen. Ugh. Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, and eighteen years old. Name a name. Kennedy had nothing to do with this. And he, he lost his life. 
What is your Instagram be? Somebody in my DM talking about something. She said that I'm next. Bitch, I could never be worried about getting shot, okay, Mr. Mama? For him to be dead, bro, that's so fucked up. Like, <laughs> shit, don't get real till niggas die. To nobody, like. And it be the innocent one. To fucking oh my god, yo, this shit, bruh. <laughs> yo, yo, this generation on some whole other shit, my nigga. Some whole other shit. I just can't understand it. I, I don't think I'm gonna ever understand this shit, bruh. I'm glad I was born when I was born, but I wish I was born right before I was born. You get what I'm saying? And not, <clears throat> I'm glad. I wasn't born in this generation. There's no disrespect to anybody that was born in this generation. I'm not talking about the people that have sense in this generation. But the people that don't. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? This boy lost his life for nothing. And then it's like, you know, you, you talk about... You, I don't know if it's just anger. I don't know what the fuck. But you be so mad in a moment and can go back and forth in a moment and talk about this and that till somebody die. Then when somebody dies, like, oh, my God, that's fucked up. You killed him. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, y'all been doing all this. I mean, somebody was bound to get hurt. But it had to be the innocent one. Because first of all, if you was my friend, I wouldn't have never went. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. She said pull up. All right, let me think about this. <laughs> Do I really want to go? This is about the third time we scrapped. Somebody's car got damaged. You know what I'm saying? So first you get in a fight, that's over. Then somebody car get damaged. Mm, that's an issue. You know that third thing. That third step ain't gonna be no motherfucking conversation. We ain't come to talk. Everybody came with guns. They knew what was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to that boy, bro. Rest in peace to him. This is just a lot for me. Coming out here with guns and they're fighting over nothing. I beat your ass. Oh, it ain't even Lord. over that. I want to have clout. Bro, it ain't even over that. See, people forget what happened in the beginning. This is what will stop a lot of shit if everybody just calm the fuck down. Why you mad at me? Why you really mad at me? Like, for real, for real? Why are you upset with me? What did I do? Let's talk about this shit. Do you know half the time a nigga won't even know? Won't even remember? Like, I don't even know why I'm mad, nigga, but you made me mad so I fucking two years ago. So, I'm going to keep this going. Nah, we don't have to do that, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's too old. We don't want nobody to die. Especially, we don't want to die. You don't want nobody else to die. If people had sense, they could do that. This happened because some months ago, one of them said that they was leaving one of them. They went and misconstrued the words and said, all of us got to leave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was like, if you ain't want to ride with me, then you ain't have to ride. It wasn't even none of what the fuck actually was supposed to happen. Like, I, child. Because when you talk about it, your views go up. Or, or these kids, and I'm not trying to be mean to the fans, but y'all, some of y'all are 18. And you got your fans who are 11 and 12. Y'all let these... No offense to the viewers. Right. Y'all let these 11 and 12 year olds get y'all this routed up. Yep. I ain't even gonna put it on them. Y'all grown enough to right. go. <laughs> Fuck it and let something go. So I'm gonna say y'all let these little kids talk y'all up to fight. Nah, I'm not answering what I don't want to answer. Niggas will be like, where Naima at? Ask, ask Isha, uh, whatever her name is. Where Naima at? Niggas be like, you know damn well not. I don't fuck with her. That's how that'll come out. And then when that comes out, 
They start popping shit. Niggas start screen recording. Switching up words. Getting the last few seconds of shit. Uh-uh. I ain't got time for that. Hell no. And they'll do this. Not for no internet. Put on for them. But really, at the end of the day, it is y'all. Facts. It's you two. I'm not trying to be rude, but it's Isha and Naima. Y'all should have just dropped it. Period. And it should have been dropped. It should have been dead. Isha, you whooped her ass twice. Naima, you got your ass beat. Fuck it. Right. You ain't gonna beat her ass. <clears throat> now a boy is it's dead. Gone. Dead. Y'all are here with your family. I get to still dance on Instagram. Do what the f you want to do. Have fun. Live your life. All this going to die the f down one day. And it's going to be over with two months from now. And that boy is still gone. Because he was helping a friend. I'm not saying he was perfect. Yes, I know he was a part when he jumped tired. He was a, when he jumped tired to go with all them boys. Horrible. But that is not a reap what you sow situation. Right. That don't mean wish death on him, though. Yeah, this is a mess. So then after that, all that stuff went down. The boy lost his life, which I really hate. Then Ty the Goat goes live and says this. Not the shit the woman. Kenny got that's shot. It. That's what he did. I don't care. That's what he did. You should have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. You can't have a drive tonight. You can't be saying that. I mean, no, that's what you did. You can't, you can't, thank you for every wrong. Uh-uh. Oh, well. And he should never jump in. That is sick. Are you fucking kidding me? Boy? Mmm. Mm-mm. Nope, I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I will never respect something like that. I don't care if he jumped you. You never let life take its course. Let karma take its course. That wasn't karma that happened to him. That was being around some bullshit foolishness. So then the boy's mama um, or play mother. And damn, at least you. Mm. No, because I'm. <laughs> at least. You, <sighs> like you live to see another day. You know what I'm saying? You fight. You fight to live to see another day. That's the whole point of fighting and not bringing guns out. So if you wanted to take it there, you should have fought them. But to be happy or say that's what he got because he's dead. People wonder why people's heads are so fucked up today and why people are just so goddamn insensitive to everything. It's just like shit just don't matter. Life just don't matter until it happened to you. Not until it happened to you. Ooh, that thing got me upset. Mother, she goes by and she tore me to pieces. A dance battle, Instagram. Man, somebody lost their life for this shit. Even when a getting locked up for the charge, that shit still ain't gonna bring that baby home, man. And that they still can get visitation from their family, man. We can't see my baby no more. These motherfuckers get money on their book, get to go to commissary, still get to get the fuck up and brush their goddamn teeth and wipe their ass every goddamn day. Man, my baby going in the grave. You talking about? Mm -hmm. All because motherfuckers got beef on the internet. Don't
already know each other. That Got shit nothing. crazy, man. I Got ain't been nothing. asleep. My stomach is burning. At the end of the day, ain't the world and just the children now need to stop letting what people say get to you. Stop letting people affect you. Stop letting people get you mad. Just stop. It's not that serious. You young boys, put down your guns. Y'all supposed to be so damn bad. Fight. Fight. Everybody's scared to get their ass whooped. <laughs> That's what it is. Now, if somebody jumping you, I get it. I get that shit. Protect yourself, right? But that still don't mean wish death on nobody, bro. That don't mean that, man. The gun, I can give a one-year-old a gun and say pull the trigger and they can pull it. I can give it to a blind man and say pull the trigger and they can pull it. I'm over that. That is not bad. That is a pussy. A coward. You're scary. A punk. Facts. Not the gay stuff that y'all are using the terms for a punk and pussy and all that stuff. No, the real definition. Facts. Soft, timid, set, weak. Pussy. Pussy. Put the, if you really want to solve a problem, talk it out. Oh, that. If you really want to solve a problem, turn away and go another way and say, F you and prove it with your money that you make. Prove it with your, prove it with you excelling in life. If you really want to be a, a guy and tough, fight him with your hands. Take your win or loss and move on. That's that's the real man. That's real strength. That's real courage. All that gun shit, stupid. I'm sorry, this topic is pissing me off. Facts. Because I'm about ready to cut this goddamn video off. To the baby mom, I am so sorry. To the family, I am so sorry. To the friends, I am so sorry. To anybody that is affected by his death, I am sorry from me. Because these people aren't going to give it to you. I am sorry Fact. that you had to lose somebody to senseless, dumb bullshit. I'm not pointing. And to still not prove a point. <laughs> no point is proven. Nobody still don't give a fuck. And that he say, she say shit, still don't matter. I mean, clearly to that other nigga, it was worth a death. Like, really? Like, man. I'm done with this shit. But you Ooh, all have to know. I'm done with this. What part you played in this and mm. how you could have changed it. Mm -mm. I'm done with um, it. Take it as a learning experience. <sighs> And know when enough is enough. This boy's child has to never grow without a father. The mother has no boyfriend, baby daddy, potential husband anymore. Whatever would have happened in the future, we don't know. A mom has lost her child. Just know, karma is real. And it will come back. To all of you people who are watching Messy Monday, God only made one you. And if you don't be you, then nobody else will. I love you guys. Be blessed. Make smart decisions. And stop all the senseless violence. See you next Monday. Mm -mm, can't watch it. Can't watch it at all. You know, it don't matter how much we cry. It don't matter how blue we turn. This shit's still gonna be fucked up. You can't change the world, but you can change who you are in this world. And um, I pray for everybody every day. I pray for my uh, family. I pray for my enemies. I pray for everybody, because I don't wish bad on nobody. I truly don't. And um I don't have shit else to say. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the 
baddest, the best, the baddest logo in the world, and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.